Well, witty people, looks like October is oct over. <laughs> Hello, witty people. Happy Saturday. And this week on Worldwide Videos, we were talking about Halloween. <laughs> so one of the disadvantages of being on a collab channel like this later in the week is that I'm actually posting this the day after Halloween. So it's kind of already finished, but that's okay. I hope all of you had a lovely, safe, happy Halloween with lots of candy or drinking or whatever you prefer. And I'm still gonna tell you what I did for Halloween anyway. So whatever. So growing up, I did kind of the normal Halloween-y things, you know, I dressed up and went trick-or-treating, we carved a pumpkin and whatever. We were never like a super festive family with like cobwebs everywhere and like a haunted house or anything, but we did some stuff. Actually, carving pumpkins was something my dad seemed to enjoy doing, and um, one pumpkin that I remember the most strongly is a Rob Ford-related pumpkin. So while he was being elected, I don't know if it was, probably not for mayor, but for like a counselor position or something like that. My dad made this pumpkin that said no gravy train, but it was formed so that it formed a smile. I don't know. I'm proud of my dad. That took some guts. And he put it out like it was a normal pumpkin. I'm wondering how many parents actually laughed at that. I never understood it until like this year, but <laughs> that was interesting Halloween memory. Another thing that's kind of stuck with me ever since I was a little kid is my love of picking a really weird hipster costume that not many people will understand. I know my mom made this weird like dead Egyptian queen costume when I was little and like a dead rock star. I think I like dead things. I don't know why, I just did. And then even in high school, I always picked weird things. In grade nine, I was a peacock, but I just stuffed a bunch of skirts on myself and it made no sense. <laughs> in grade 10, I was a special from the Ugly series, which I talked about in my book tour video. In grade 11, what was I in grade Oh. <laughs> in grade 11, I was Katniss Everdeen, but not like the typical bow and arrow hunting jacket Katniss Everdeen that you usually see. No, I was the actual girl on fire. Somehow I got it in my head that I wanted to be Katniss from that scene where she's coming into the arena with the flaming cape with Peeta. So I stayed up really late cutting out pieces of tissue paper to make flames that attached to a scarf which I pinned to my back and then I had my hair braided like Katniss and that was a day. So this year, as I did not have anything really to plan for, because I'm not in school, I don't have any friends who would go downtown partying with me, and I'm not old enough to drink, I just kind of went to my old school with my friends. I just reused one of my old cosplays from an anime convention that I went to this year. That costume was Bee from Bee and Puppy Cat, the cartoon hangover web short that is now becoming a series which is coming out in a few days and I'm so excited! But I just went to go talk to a teacher about like a video project and stuff and then we hung out with some of the kids in younger grades that we knew and we wanted to see so that was really nice actually. My friend was dressed up as Samara from The Ring. She was walking down a hall and a bunch of kids were like taking pictures of her and that was funny. And then she went into a locker and scared more people. When I came home, I didn't even dish out candy. I just let my brother do that. I stayed on the couch and I took selfies and watched TV. The most family oriented thing I did when I came home was watch South Park with my brother and my dad. I did spend a good portion of the evening on Twitter looking at voice actor and cartoon creators Twitter pages to see all of the costumes that they have been retweeting. Well, witty people, now that you've heard about my Halloween, I would love to hear about what you guys did with yours. Maybe tell me in the comments below what you dressed up as, what you did, anything your little hearts desires. And if you would like to keep up on all things Worldwide videos, feel free to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Tumblr. Well, witty people, I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you next Saturday. Bye! <laughs> wait, wait. I like big bus, and big. I don't care about I want to be the very best, <laughs> but no one ever was. Guys, guys. Guys, you'll alert the fandom. Stop.